Today, I'm going to show you how to use TypeScript with React 18 Alpha today. React 18 is coming along. It's in Alpha. But if you want to use TypeScript with it, there's a couple of extra steps. So I'm going to show you how to enable TypeScript in Create React App and in Vite. All right, I've got two projects open here. One, we're going to use Create React App and the other Vite. So I am going to use Yarn. So if you don't have Yarn already installed, just do an npm i yarn g. So dash g will install it globally. So I'm just going to type these out and then we'll get them going. So yarn create react app. We're going to install that in this folder. So we'll use dot and then we're going to use a template and use the TypeScript template. Go ahead and get that going now over in Vite. Let's do yarn create at vite.js app. And we're going to install that in this directory. Let's enter a package name. We'll say react 18 dash ts dash vite. We're going to choose react, react with TypeScript. Now let's do a yarn to get everything installed. And this should just take a second. And now let's just look at our package JSON. And you should see here that we have React 17 installed. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. So we're going to say yarn add React at next to get React 18 and React dash DOM at next. And now you can see that we have React 18 alpha installed. So next, let's go over into our main.tsx. And in here, we're going to use the new create root method. So we'll say const root is going to equal react dom dot create root. And then that's going to be document dot get element by ID and not app. It's going to be root. All right. And then we'll just replace react dom here with root and we're going to render and we can get rid of this. And I have the entire tutorial on how to upgrade to react 18 in another video. I'll link that here. So this is all the stuff that I did in that first video. So now because we're using the new create root TypeScript doesn't know what to do with this create root. So it says property create root does not exist. So we need to tell it where to look. So here's how we get TypeScript to work. Let's go ahead and open our TS config file. And in this file, we just need to add our types. So we're going to say types. And this is going to be an array. And so we're going to say react next and react dom next. Save that and go back to our main TSX and now it knows what create root is because we've now defined our React 18 types. This next issue here is because we have strict mode enabled. If we go back to our TS config file, you can see here that strict is untrue. If we put this to false, then this would go away. Uh, but strict is good. You know, it's, it's letting us know that this is an issue. TypeScript isn't sure if the root element is actually there. So this it's saying that it could be null. But we know that it's there. So we can just say, bang, don't worry about it, TypeScript, it's there. So now we can open up our terminal and let's just do yarn dev and start up our dev server. And then we're on localhost 3000. So we can open up our simple browser and enter localhost 3000. And we can see that our Vite app is working with TypeScript. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's do the same things in create react app. So we're going to do yarn add react at next and react dom at next. That should just take a second. And then we'll open up our index.tsx. And we'll do the same thing. So let's just copy and paste from here. Copy that one and paste it there. So now we have the same issue. TypeScript isn't sure what create root is. 
So let's go into our tsconfig.json and we'll add the same things here. So that was types and that is going to be react next and react dom next. All right, we'll save that, go back to our index.tsx and it's gone. So now if we open up our terminal here, we can do a yarn start and get this dev server running. Now, port 3000 is already in use, so we'll just say yes, and it's gonna put it on port 3001. So we could do the same thing. Let's open up our simple browser, port 3001 on localhost, and there we go. Both of these are running React 18 Alpha with TypeScript support. That's gonna be it for this video. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.